I've recently started making these little milking stools to sell at heritage fairs and the likes of it. I have a bit of red deal timber here, which will become the legs. And I have the main body here. So, with just a few basic hand tools, we're going to make one of them. The first thing we did was come along with this metal ruler here and we used the pencil to mark out the centre point. Then we came along with our compass and we used that to mark out the circular shape we wanted for the stool before coming along with the pencil to make the marking a bit more visible. Once we had that marked out we threw it into the tail vise here and we got our cross cut panel saw and we just kept on cutting the corners more and more until eventually we ended up with a roughly round looking wooden object. Since everything was still a bit rough at this stage we gave it a go off the smoothing plane before putting it back into the tail vise and using our number 4 just to kind of round over the edges a bit more and get rid of all the rough saw marks. With all that planing done, it was time to mark out the tenons for the legs. So we have our compass here, marking out the distance from the center point. Then we come along with the metal ruler, mark our center line, before coming along with this fella to separate each one of the legs by 120 degrees, so that they're spaced evenly apart from each other and the center point. Since I wanted the legs to lean up at about 20 degrees, first of all I had to drill the pilot holes for them. So I have a sliding bevel here which I use to mark that 20 degrees, and then I come along with this hand powered drill and just bore the pilot hole the whole way through the wood. So this pilot hole allows a path that the bit can follow as it's being bored through the wood. They say if a bit is sharp enough, it should propel itself through the wood, and this fella here is cutting like a dream. So that's mostly the body done for now, which means it's time to move on to the legs. The first thing I do for the legs is grab my brace and bit again and make a little circle at the end of the legs. That'll allow me to know how far I need to bring the taper to when I'm planing over the next few steps. So that's pretty self-explanatory. We have our four and a half here set to take a very deep cut. So I'm just gonna hack away at that until I have the four sides taper down towards one end. Once I have that done, I roll it over 45 degrees in the vise and go over it one last time with the number 5 and that gives the leg a kind of octagonal shape. The next stop on the leg's journey then is at the shave horse where I'm using a spoke shave to kind of round out the tips of the leg where they will slot into the tenon that we've just bored in the body of the stool. Then we cut a slit at the end of the leg that'll not only allow it to slide into the tenon a bit easier, but more importantly it means we can put a wedge in there, locking it into the body of the stool. So it's finally time to attach the body to the legs, so pretty straightforward, we just line up the mortise and tenon, and then we use our mallet to just drive the tenons all the way through the main body of the stool. The next thing we had to do was wedge those tenons, so all that entailed was getting a little bit of teak here in the form of a wedge, putting a bit of glue on it and then driving it into the slits we had cut earlier with our hammer. So obviously that leaves a big excess behind so all we need to do to get rid of that is come along with our Japanese saw here and just use that to remove it. Lastly then just come along with a black plane and clean it up a small bit more. Maybe someday I'll be good enough with my planes that I can finish my stools with them. At the minute I'm still getting a bit of tear out and stuff on the edges. So I do have to finish them with sandpaper and that's what we're doing here. Starting at 40 grit, walking our way up to 120. One of the most satisfying jobs about finishing a project is putting on the linseed oil. And that's what we're doing here. So we're just going to pour it from the bottle. I have a rag here and we're just going to rub it in and watch it bring the grain to life. The very last thing we do then is come along with our tenon saw and use that to cut the legs so that they're flush with the floor instead of being at an angle. Well lads, here we have the stool ready to go. I'll be travelling around Ireland over the next few months to try to sell these at heritage fairs. So if you're in the market for a milking stool, just give me a shout. Sound for watching. Good luck.